Hey everybody, I just wanted to make a video here today on Oak Island. This might be my last Oak Island video. I've been kind of wanting to move on to different subjects, but this weird, fascinating mystery keeps pulling me back in. And I know it isn't interesting to everybody, especially if you don't know the history of Oak Island. But what I wanted to do was look into some of the direct ties in between the Templars and Oak Island, and mainly Henry Sinclair and Rosalind Chapel. And I know you, uh, a lot of people know that that was depicted in, in the Da Vinci Code. And people say, well, the Da Vinci Code was a fictional story, blah, blah, blah. But yes, but a lot of the things said about Rosalind Chapel were indeed true. So I just wanted to look into Rosalind Chapel a little bit and Henry Sinclair. And I just want to read just a little bit from this website here. And this talks about a book written by, I think his name is Michael Bradley, and I will leave a link below in case I got that name wrong, but it says, Bradley asserts that Prince Henry Sinclair took over as many as 300 colonists to the New World, and a literal grail castle was built in Nova Scotia, the New Scotland. So strong is the evidence for Prince Henry Sinclair's voyage across the Atlantic with the Knights Templar that his distant relative, Andrew Sinclair, wrote a book entitled The Sword and the Grail, in which he claimed much the same as Bradley in the Holy Grail across the Atlantic. The Templars may have also come into possession of some highly accurate maps made by the Moors and the Turks, and in so doing inherited the secret sea knowledge once guarded so carefully by the Carthaginians and their allies. Bradley and Sinclair claim that a special grail castle was built in an area of central Nova Scotia called the Cross. This spot could be reached via river from either side of the Nova Scotia Peninsula and at the mouths of both rivers was an island called Oak Island. Curiously, one of these Oak Islands has a famous money pit which is a man-made shaft hundreds of feet deep with side tunnels. It is believed that there is a treasure in this pit and millions of dollars have been spent in attempts to reach the submerged bottom of the pit. It has been traditionally believed that the Oak Island mystery was built by pirates to hide a treasure, but Bradley and Sinclair claim that it was built by Sinclair and the Knights Templar. Furthermore, they claim Canada was settled as a direct result of the Holy Grail being taken there. So I just found that very interesting. We're going to go back to Google Earth here. And you notice how Oak Island here is right between the mouths of two rivers. And one of these is actually called the Gold River. I just thought that was an interesting coincidence up here, the Gold River, but that could depict many spots along the coast of Nova Scotia, but it does depict Oak Island here. But Roslyn Chapel and the Knights Templar and all those legends and myths behind that, I just wanted to see if I drew a direct line between Oak Island and Roslyn Chapel, if there would be anything interesting. The Knights, Chapler, Knights Templar we're big into alignments. So we are going to take a direct line up here to famous Roslyn Chapel. And here you see it. And I just put a marker down on the doorstep and drew a line to Oak Island. Now, what is what the secret treasure that was found here or hidden here? That is totally debatable. Now, of course, in the Da Vinci Code, they talk about a royal bloodline and a religious artifact. But the Knights Templar, their legend is that they raided the Temple of Solomon and made away with the treasure. And if you go by actual history, there never was a Temple of Solomon. And Amenhotep III who had more gold than anybody on earth was the character or the pharaoh that Solomon, the Solomon story comes from. But is there anything on this ancient line or this line from Roslyn Chapel to Oak Island? And I wasn't really expecting to find anything, but I did find this. And this is the island of Jura off of Scotland. And remember, Nova Scotia is said to be the New Scotland. And this island of Jura is an ancient hangout of the Knights Templar. They have a rich, deep history on this island. They have fought a few battles here. I will try to leave some links below. But what falls on this, this line between Rosalind Chapel and Oak Island? It's this. And when I first saw this, it reminded me of one thing. 
and that was the Newport Tower. This is a tower built in Rhode Island that was said, it's said to be very, very old and possibly built by the Knights Templar. And holes were built in it that uh, depict alignments. So when I saw this, that is the first thing that this thing kind of reminded me of. And you notice there is a little window built here, and I'm presuming there's one on the other side. And I don't know the history of these triangulation pillars, they are called, but they are on the ancient or the island of Jura, which is a hangout of the Knights Templar. And this triangulation pillar is on a direct line between Roslyn Chapel and Oak Island. I find that very interesting. Did the Knights Templar put this on the island to mark the direct line between Roslyn Chapel and Oak Island? That's a very interesting thought. Alignments can't be argued with. They are what they are. And the Knights Templar, it is said that they have a treasure from the Temple of Solomon. The Temple of Solomon never existed. 